Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ariana from Where Black Sheep Meet. And today I'm gonna start my new vlog for my new project, which is Night Felt Herbalist by Cosplay by McCall's. And I am gonna be doing this in a Beetlejuice theme. Obviously, I'm obsessed. And I'm not doing the purple, I'm doing green. So I know some of you were like, wait a minute. Like, cause at first I, in my head, I was like, wait, Beetlejuice is green and black. But then my husband was like, no, you're thinking of the cartoon because the cartoon, he has purple and black. Cause he's got like um, the dead eyes or whatever. And I was like, oh, makes sense. Yes, I'm that old. <laughs> I used to watch the cartoon a lot when I was little as well because Beetlejuice is one of my favorite movies. So this project though, this is gonna be a big project. So I am naming this month Monstrous March because for one, this is a monstrous project for me personally. It's my biggest project to date that I will be doing. And Beetlejuice is somewhat of a monster. So it kind of works out. So this is my Monstrous March project. So today is day one, uh, today is March 4th. So we'll see how much progress we can get done this week. I might have to do two uh, project vlogs. So this might be part one. So hello for part one. And I'm going to start cutting out all my pattern pieces and getting that ready to start cutting out probably tomorrow. I should cut it all out today but I probably will get distracted, so no promises. But hopefully I can get them traced out and cut out, or at least some pieces cut out today. I don't know how many pieces there are yet, which let's take a look. So it actually doesn't look like a ton of pieces. Um, it's all one view. I mean, there's view A and B, but one's the overdress and the other one's the underskirt. So essentially it's all one pattern. So I have exactly 13 pieces which isn't too bad. It doesn't really look complicated. So maybe I'm making it bigger than I think I am because they're pretty basic, but this is what I'm excited about. I'm excited about these new techniques I'm gonna be doing in this dress. So that boning, I'm excited to finally like do a little trial, not a trial, but get my foot in the water for it. So I can start like trying out different things like corsets and more structured bodices. So I think this is a great pattern to test the waters with, essentially. Um, it is a very basic looking dress overall, but it does have a ton of like extra things, extra laces, extra trims, extra um, gems, and all this kind of stuff that I'm going to be adding. So if we look at the back here, I mean, look at all this. <laughs> this is a lot of extra stuff that is gonna bring it all together. So if you can see on the front here a little bit. So see there's like laces on here. There's more lace here and the bows, more trim around here. The button, I don't know if that's in, I don't think this is in it. Uh, I don't think the belt is in it, but I might make a belt yeah so yeah see there's more trim there so this definitely has a lot of little little tiny details that will make this come to life so we're gonna get started on it i'm excited i've been looking forward to making this for a very long time i i love it and i think it would be a really great beetlejuice i really do maybe i will end up wearing this for halloween we shall see I am planning to do a size 16 like I did with the hitch skirt since it's the same brand, the same company. Oh gosh, can't do this with one hand. There we go, ignore my sizes. Okay, yeah, I think I will do this in a size 16 even though it was extremely tight. I am starting to lose a tiny bit of weight I'm like one more pound down, um, which isn't a lot, but I measured myself and I did lose a tiny bit here and there, just a tiny, tiny bit. So it's going. Maybe the size 18 would be best just to be safe. I can always take it in. I can never let it out. So 
I don't know. Maybe I'll decide on the 18. I had to decide because I had to start tracing out the pattern pieces. So we'll see what I go with later on. So I guess that is it for right now. Um, you can see all my artwork here. Like, So this is all going to go on the wall. I just have to decide how I want it to be set up. I mean, there's so many options. <laughs> I have a whole wall to put pictures up on. So I, I'm still trying to decide. Um, I got one of my diamond paintings framed. I got another one that I just finished, The my garden needs tending. And so I need a frame for that. So that'll probably go up right now as well. But that's, that's gonna look really cool once it's done. But anyways, yes, let me go ahead and get started. It's three o'clock right now, like I said. I'll try and give an update tomorrow to let you know how far I got, if I was able to cut out the pieces, and we'll see. But for now, here we go. Let's go on this journey for Monstrous March. I totally almost forgot before I end this for the day. I do have all my swatches here, so you can kind of see what's uh, gonna go into this, basically. So I have my like swirl fabric, and this is gonna go right here and then I have my black and white stripe for the main uh, jacket part, all this. I have the green and that's gonna go into the skirt. I have this uh, netting and it's got, it's hard to tell, but it's got like some sparkle stripes in there. And that's gonna go into the sleeves. And then I think I'm only using the smaller uh, ribbon and I forget where this goes oh I think it's for the bow so if I don't end up using this size I will use this size so I have two sizes this trim is gonna be the one all around the edges here all the edge stuff so I do have other trims and things but I didn't put my swatches in here but you can see that's a lot of stuff I had to color code it so I knew what was going where it's a lot. So I'm hoping this will look great all together. I know they're kind of like a little different. I, I mean, I see them all together and it looks kind of cool, but at the same time, like once it's all together, I don't know if it's going to have the effect that I want, but hopefully all the missy matchy patterns and stuff will, will work, right? Stripes, stripes, something to stand out. This is gonna match the buttons, which, where are my buttons? Here we go. So I have the buttons. See, so I was, I was like, ooh, that's kind of perfect. Look at the swirls, the swirls and the swirls. And so these buttons, the small ones are gonna go right here in the middle. And then one of these big ones is gonna go right here. So I'm hoping that'll tie it in. And then these two greens will tie in together. And I figured this is like swirly too. So I hope you guys can see stripes and stripes. Did I say that already? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys can kind of see what I was seeing. I don't know, we'll see. We'll find out. Like I said, let's, uh, let's just get started and hope for the best. Okay, so yesterday I didn't get a chance to do anything as I hoped I could. But um, this is the third day now and I did start cutting everything out. I finished some, uh, about half of it. So let me show you what I have so far. So I have done, let's see, I've gotten all my green for this, the lower skirt cut out. And then I have all of my stripe fabric cut out. So, oh, and the, the center bodice section is also cut out as well. There was two pieces of that. So it's getting there. I think I still have a lining that I need to do and interfacing that needs to be done. And what piece? I think one is a lining piece here. Oh God, my knees are popping and I'm getting old. Um, yeah, this is the back facing. So this is gonna be lining 
And then this one, what is this? This is a petticoat, so this will be lining as well. So I have those to do lining. And what else did I get done? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting through it. I did have exactly what I needed in my striped fabric. It was like perfect. Um, my daughter was in here while I was cutting and she was cutting my little scrap pieces to make, trying to make clothes for her Barbie. So those did not go to waste. And then this was what I had left on the green. Look, it had like a raw edge from the bolt. And yeah, I just barely made it. So that was perfect with this one because I do have more of the green, but I think this is slightly off. Like it's a different, what would you call it? Like a dye lot, a different dye lot. Oh, you can't tell a little bit. This is slightly darker than this one. These even aren't even coming up um, true to color, but uh, this one is just slightly darker than this one, so I'm glad I didn't have to get into this for that skirt. I probably would have hit it in the back somewhere, but this is fine. So, everything's cut out. So, hopefully tomorrow... Oh gosh, I'm just looking at myself. <laughs> it's been a long day, but uh, just for tomorrow, I think I'll finish cutting things out. I don't know if I'm going to get started. Maybe... I don't know. I'll try and get up early and do a workout real early and just come up here and start crafting because I just realized yesterday when my daughter was finishing her distance learning, the teacher was like, oh, okay, you don't have school next week. It's spring break. And I was like, oh, I totally didn't even know that this next week is spring break. So she's going to be home or not. I mean, she's already home, but she is not going to be busy for a full week. So, <laughs> oh, she's going to drive me. They're both going to drive me up the wall. But anyways, uh, I'm hoping that tomorrow, since I have nothing to do, it's Saturday. I can just come in here and just like start sewing things up. So what I'm going to do now is pick a nail polish color. So that way my nails are done just in case I do what I say I'm going to do. For once um so yeah so let's see what color we're gonna pick for this project so going back to the polishes i think i'll stick with the beetlejuice theme and go with something like this color i know i have something this is a blue that is not purple <laughs> it's close though it was a close purple um but let's see what kind of purples i have let me pull them all out and we can compare. I know I have a really dark purple called, I think it's called Dark Souls. Oh, I keep pulling that one out. Um, was it Dark Souls? I think it was Dark Souls. Here's another one. Ooh, Unfortunate Souls. See? Look at this one. Uh, it looks more gray toned, but this is a really dark purple. I think that would look really nice. Um... There's a light purple. I keep <laughs> this out. I'm gonna put this over here so I don't touch it. Ooh, that's a super dark purple. Look at that. Sagittarius. Ooh, I don't think I've worn this one either. That's a nice one. Okay. Oh, there's this one too. It's got like gold shimmers in there. Yasma. Yizma. I should know that. I love that movie. It's one of my favorites. The Emperor's New Groove. Look at that one. Ooh. Okay, okay. I think, um, for one, I think that's all I have, but I think that's a good selection to choose from. Yeah, I think that was all my purples. Okay, so let's pick up. No, I'm in love with this one, I think. Let's see if I can get better lighting. 
Oh, there we go. Let's just put it against the door. Hmm. I think this is it. Um, otherwise, there's this one. Like I said, it's not showing true to color on this one, though. This is a little more like a purpley, like taupey color. Maybe not. And then there's this one, Mozart. Oh, Mozart's so pretty, though. Now, I think I'm going to go with this one. Let's do it, Sagittarius. You're the color for this video. So I just realized I got to cut out the netting, which is here. I have to cut out the netting, and I still have to cut out the lace um, sort of trim for the sleeves. So it's a lot to do still with all the cutting, but I'll get it done tomorrow. I'm determined, hopefully it'll be done tomorrow. So hopefully I will catch up with you guys tomorrow and I'll have some sort of progress to report. Okay, so spoiler alert, I didn't get what I wanted to done yesterday, but I did end up finishing cutting out all my pieces. So I will show you those right now. So here are all my pieces. I got my tool, the bottom skirt, all my lining and my striped fabric. And then I do have these pieces over here. And this is the petticoat um, skirt here, the lining for that. So everything is good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and finally get started. Just finished my nails. It's a lot darker than I thought, but I still really like it. I think it's a, a nice subtle purple, but I also wanted to show you that I did have some Zox bracelets and I ha I I originally ordered these back in July. I just didn't unwrap them because we were in the middle of packing things up for the move. So I'm finally going to open them and they're really cute. Uh, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. So I watch a lot of Miss Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray for diamond painting and they get a lot of these. So I saw that they were just so cute. They come with little cards and you can see at the top, that's what number bracelet this is. And they're reversible. So on the inside, they'll say a little saying. Can I do this one hand? I can. Oh, got it. So they'll have a little saying, do what you love. And I thought these were just so cute because I try to be a positive person and I think sometimes everybody needs a little reminder. And this channel where black sheep meet, it's for everybody who's kind of a little out there or a little different from everybody else and to know that everyone is accepted in their own way pretty much um, for whoever you want to be I think that's um, that's important you're not alone they're just so cute so I wanted to definitely have um, one of these on in my videos from now on Maybe, you know, it's just something you need to hear. But yeah, these are just so cute. And they have so many, whether it's laughing or crying, we'll do it together. So see, these are just so adorable. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to share that I have these. And yeah, there's, let's see what it looks like. I didn't even try it on. Let's try it on. Oh, it's getting stuck on my ring. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Perfect fit. I have really small wrists, so this actually fits really nicely and comfortably. But yeah, I just wanted to share these. Let's go ahead and get started um, with this video and make some progress on it today. So I'm just about to get into this and it looks like we're jumping right into the boning. So this will be interesting. Um, I read over it. It looks confusing, but I think if once I go through step by step, 
it'll make more sense. This is confusing me a little bit, but we'll see. Well, I grabbed these pieces. Turns out I forgot to cut the lining for both of these. So before I even get started, I gotta go back and cut my lining. So I'm gonna do this real quick and then hopefully I can go ahead and start cutting the boning. So I just finished sewing on the panels or the channels, I mean, for the boning. And look how cool. As you can see, my stitching isn't perfect, but you really can't even tell. They look super straight on the front. So I'm sure it's because of the dirt. Oh gosh, there's hair everywhere. That's what happens when you use black. But, uh, yeah, you can't even tell. And I'm assuming it's harder to see because of the black. But as long as you stay within this little tiny section here, it should be okay. It shouldn't be too big of a difference that um, your lines are going to look all wonky. But I feel pretty excited. It's my first time doing this, so... Also, I was sewing very slow. I turned the speed on my sewing machine down about to halfway. When I was going really slow, I was not staying as straight. So I had like a medium speed and that really helped me get through it. Like I think this one was my best line. Look how straight that is. So yeah, definitely if you're not used to sewing straight lines, as a beginner, I would just take your time but like I said, it doesn't need to be extremely perfect because there's little bumps there, but like I said, you really can't tell. So don't be too hard on yourself. So I just did these seams and apparently I'm supposed to open them up like so and then place another channel of boning in here. But how is that gonna work? Look how much space is in between here. This is right up against it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I already trimmed my seams. So it was a 5 8 inch seam allowance. I don't know why it's so close on both sides. Hmm. Unless I just go back and re sew farther out and do that. That's, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Cause up top here, yeah, see up top has plenty of room up here for it. And it slowly goes down and my placement lines are right. So I don't know if I look at the instructions, you can see it's like close in this picture. And then in this one, it's like far apart. So. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to go back and re-stitch this and then take out this stitching line just down here at the bottom. Because, yeah, how am I going to... How am I going to put that in there? So from here down, I'm just going to have to curve it. That is what it is, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So I think I, I got an idea. So instead of opening them like it's saying, I think I'll just fold over the seam allowance this way and then place my new boning against that seam line there. And that way it's kind of where it's supposed to be. So I'm still stitching in this seam here. So it kind of will hide that seam. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, it does because it's on the front. <laughs> So it'll be like stitching in the ditch almost. And then I'll go on this side because that'll give it plenty of room. See, that will, that's how it's going to look. So I think that's what I'm going to do to keep my seam allowances fine. Yeah, see. Okay, so that's the plan. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to edit the video to incorporate this, but I'll... It's when I get there, I'll worry about it. But this is what I'm doing. In case you're watching this first, hopefully you are. 
if this is what happens to you, that's my solution. And then the other side, I will just fold it in this way. So it'll be facing toward my centers. I might iron this just to be safe because up here it is um, curved. What is it, like a princess seam? So I'll iron it just to make sure everything lays correctly while I'm, while I'm placing my boning channel. And then that way it's easier to sew. So I think I figured it out. I think it's worked. It looks pretty good. And then on the front, Obviously the front stitching isn't going to be perfect, but I think it's as good as it's going to get. Yeah, I just went off a little bit, but I mean, this is the lining. This is the inside. So the only one who's going to see this is me, <laughs> essentially. So I'm not mad at it. I, I'm happy with the, the way it turned out. So crisis averted. Okay, so it is the end of the day. It's 5 p.m. So I'm going to go finish up for dinner. This front portion is almost done. I just have to slip stitch it. But look how cool. This is like so professional looking. Well, I mean, minus the two-tone <laughs> lining. But look at that. My first boning. That's okay. <laughs> no comment. Um... Yeah, I'm so excited. I learned a new technique. How cool. But, uh, yeah, so I'll put that aside. I'm going to slip stitch this right now while I'm just hanging out. But the other reason I decided to call this a day is because I realized I didn't cut out my lining for my number three piece. So I just did that right now. I cut them out. And I was about to start the next couple steps to get it going. And then I realized when I came over to my number four pieces, I cut them both the same <laughs> way. So they're not opposites. So I have to recut an opposite piece. Oh, I hate it when I do that. Look. <laughs> so I'm going to have to cut out an extra piece. So I will do that today so that that way tomorrow I can just get right back into it and uh, continue with the jacket. So I'm starting on the jacket. Oh gosh, this fabric is, it does a number on your eyes, but it's so pretty. I love black and white stripe, but oh man, it, it really does a number on my eyes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop, I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry everyone, all right. So yeah, I guess I will get back to you guys tomorrow and we'll pick up where I left off and hopefully uh, no more mishaps. Um, that's not a guarantee, uh, but yeah, definitely tomorrow will be my last full day of this vlog, and then I will have it up for you guys, because today is Monday. So one more day Tuesday, and then my videos go on Wednesday. So I think I got enough for a good vlog part one for my a monstrous March project. But uh, yeah, so see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so this is Tuesday and I've already started working on this <laughs> bodice and so there was a minute there where I was very confused because I'm adding the fabric to the lining right okay so this is the back well I was confused why I had extra lining up here I was like these are the same pieces why do they not match up I don't understand well, after I've sewn it all together <laughs> and I was mid stitching this one, I realized what I did wrong. Look, <laughs> I put them on the wrong side. It's supposed to be this edge here. And I did it to both and I've already gotten pretty far. I've trimmed the seams. I've added the boning. So I don't know what to do. I don't know if that's going to be a big difference. It's a different curve. I mean, essentially it lines up. It lines up with the back here. Did I do that? With the... No, yeah, it lines up with the back here because the front is fine. This already had the curve. 
So the curve was in the right spot. I think. Yeah, the curve's in the right spot. Because it's supposed to be a long shoulder. So I don't know if this is going to make a difference. I don't know. Where's my pattern piece? Here's my pattern piece. See how they're, it's very similar. <laughs> There's just more of a curve right here. It's like slightly center back. Center back is straight, but they look straight. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I won't need to do anything. This is seam allowance. See, it's in the seam allowance here, so maybe I'll be okay. This is a little low, but this is basting, so I just take that out in the end and just seam allowance it up like this. So maybe I won't have to take it apart. <laughs> I don't know. And then, so I'm about to finish that. Like I said, I was finishing basting this. Once I finished basting this one side, <laughs> I was, that was the last thing to do. I don't know. There we go. I'm flipping over. We're moving to number 17. And this is where I get so confused. Okay, so it says bodice front matching the bodice lining section. Matching to two bodice lining sections. So is that one for each? Is that what it's talking about? For two? Or is it like two lining on each? But then that wouldn't make sense. And then it gets even more confusing. So I'm stitching the darts like a base stitch. And then pin the bodice front and the bodice back. Okay. I guess I guess it's right sides together. So am I sewing both of these top edges? Like, I mean, I guess so. It's sewed together. You can't really separate it at that point. So I guess that's fine. Okay, I guess it's making sense now. Now that I'm talking through it, it's, it's helping me think about it okay so I sew these together right so this is as one just has how the lining has been normally so I have two pieces for one two pieces um, for one two pieces for one and then stitch dart in remaining bodice front lining okay so then there should be a second lining piece right and I'm putting I'm doing the dart Finish the lower back edge of the facing. What is this? <laughs> what is this? The lower back edge of the facing. Oh, okay. So this is a new piece. So I guess I'm finishing like a rolled hem or something. I'm sure if I get the piece, it will say that. And then pin the back facing to the front lining like this. Okay. All right. I think I'm getting it now. You guys are helping me out. Thanks. <laughs> Um, cause I was so confused and then this gets really confusing, but I think I'll wait till I get there. Yeah, this, I don't, okay. And lining back to the front, so everything, neck edges, matching seams. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for this. I think I got it up to here now. So I'm going to start working on this. I think I'm going to go with the decision and leave it as it is because it doesn't really seem to be making too much of a big difference. Since this isn't seam allowance, I don't think it'll matter. Like I said, the front lines up. It's a little awkward. The bottom's fine. So I think we're okay. But there's the update there. I'm how many hours in? I'm about an hour in to sewing. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this doesn't get worse. And I just want to note that I have stabbed myself with these pins so far, like maybe 30, 40 times. I don't know what is going on, but I have like continuously stabbed myself with the pins, like randomly. So, <laughs> so I have blood in this project now. Hopefully this doesn't mean after this incident that I will be coming to tears next because I want to get pretty far today. <laughs> so... I don't want to quit while I'm ahead. All right. Hopefully I'll be back in a little while. As a little side note, doesn't this look like Woodstock from Charlie Brown? <laughs> you can't unsee it now. <laughs> okay, so it's the end of the day and I'm going to wrap it up here. I did get a lot done today. I finished. Um, here we go. Let me get it. 
So I finished most of the bodice. Look how freaking cool, right? So most of the bodice is done. So on this, all I have to do is slip stitch this. So I'll do that later and then baste the bottom edges. And then I'll put this aside for now. But this is um, almost done. I mean, minus the sleeves, of course. Then this giant piece of fabric <laughs> is the skirt. And I just need to gather up the top edge, which I'll do tomorrow. It's already basted. It. Actually, I should do another gathering base stitch there. Um, and then I can attach it to this tomorrow. Once I have all this stuff done, then it'll attach here at the bottom. And then it should be ready for a zipper. So, for my instructions, I started here, number 13, finished all of that. And all this, all this, and I'm right here for tomorrow. So I got a lot done today. It was pretty confusing, <laughs> but it's definitely something where you have to go step by step. And then once you get to a certain point, like once you get to that point, then you know what this is trying to tell you. But like, I was trying to read ahead to like prepare and I just, I didn't understand what the heck was going on. So really, I, I mean, this is the end of the first, what, page, page four. The first two don't count because that's all the cutting. And, well, I mean, it kind of counts, but it's all the cutting and stuff. The real instructions start on page three. I'm about to finish page four and start the jacket. But look at this. Oh, wait, not this one. That's the first one. I still have like... Four more pages of instructions to go. Oh my gosh, there is so much still to do. I don't know if it's gonna turn into a three-parter, but for now, this is part one. So I'm gonna end this one here, part one of my Monstrous March project of my Beetlejuice dress, and I will come back to you guys uh, next week with the next part. I was originally going to do part one uh, vlog and then part one of the dress, but I need the dress to be done in order to do the picture <laughs> and to do like, you know, the the thumbnail and everything. So it's it wasn't gonna work. So I'm gonna do my vlogs one, two, three, and then the parts for the tutorial, one, two, three. So we're one, two, hopefully. I don't know, there's a lot to do. And then all the embellishments and stuff, that might be its own video is all the embellishments. So yeah, so part one is complete. I hope you're enjoying this so far. Uh, I'm still pricking my finger a thousand times. I don't know what is going on with me. I thankfully have not drawn blood completely, <laughs> but I am, those things are out to get me for sure. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I see you again in part two next week on Wednesday. Bye.